look at the impact that President Reagan had uh, back almost 30 years ago, nearly to the day. What he talked about was doing the right thing for the right reason at the right time. What we're doing right now is not about using busing, not at all. It's about balancing our budget. And the simple fact of matters, and I can tell you all this, having served more than eight years as a county official, one of the biggest barriers to realistic uh, flexibility for our local governments and giving them the power to go ahead and avoid massive layoffs, to avoid furlough days, to avoid massive service cuts for the very people we're elected to serve, is to give local governments the tools they need to balance their budgets. What I'm talking about today shows you that in this budget repairable, we will provide local governments nearly one and a half billion dollars worth of savings. That is more than what will be cut from them. That's unlike nearly every other state across the country where they're cutting billions of dollars from schools, from cities, from towns, from villages, and counties without giving them tools to manage. This is our moment. Our moment in time is the fact that for years, if not generations, political leaders in this state have failed to make the tough decision and instead have ignored the fact that this state increasingly has taken on costs that they can't afford. And for me, this is where it is a turning point. I grew up, let me finish, I grew up in, 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 19, in the mid-1980s in a small town called Delta. And back then we faced a, a, a very similar economic crisis uh, to what we face today. Uh, from our standpoint, I looked at and remember at the time, Tommy Thompson was elected governor and he helped turn this state around. I don't know about all of you, but at least the people I talk around the state feel like I do. And that is, I want my two sons to grow up in a state as least as great as the state that I grew up in. And I know, having local government experience in the past, that that will not happen, that will not continue, unless we get these wage and benefit controls under control, because they're eating up more and more of our budgets and taking more and more away from the services, the critical services we would like to provide in our schools, in our cities, our towns, and our state governments.